Originally dedicated in 1947, Camp Aldersgate has been committed to meeting the needs of those in the community. The camp is creating life-changing experiences for individuals with special needs. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Stephanie Bryant coming to you from the state capitol and joining me is Sarah Waycaster, the CEO of Camp Aldersgate. Thanks so much for joining me. Good today. morning. We'll tell people the unique history of Camp Aldersgate. Camp Aldersgate was founded in 1947, as you mentioned, by a group of United Methodist men and women seeking a place where people of different races could come together and meet peacefully in our community. And at that time in, in the state, maybe a little bit difficult situation, but they persevered and had wonderful programming through the 40s and 50s and just what, what a wonderful mission they established. And, and now it's kind of transformed into um, helping those or a meeting place for those with special needs. It that. has. In 1971, Dr. Kelsey Kaplinger founded our medical camps program and he had 12 kiddos he was treating for asthma and they couldn't attend a traditional camp and he let them come out and provided their medical care and today that camp is well over 360 kids who come out during our summer camps. And talk about some of the different camps that are there. So we have kiddos that come from 6 to 18 years of age and they may have muscular dystrophy or spina bifida, asthma, cardiac and bleeding disorders, kidney disorders, and the list goes on. But the great thing is these kids get to have that traditional camp experience that maybe you and I got to have growing up. Yeah. Um, and also it's not just a place for um, those with individuals with special needs, but also a Seniors Day Out program. We do. We have a wonderful Seniors Day Out program that meets every Thursday during the school year. Our senior adults come to us from lots of different community areas and they're able to experience the camaraderie and friendships. Maybe it's their one day a week that they get out. We do, uh, we have a tra traveling beanbag baseball team. We do <laughs> arts and crafts and have fellowship and, and a great lunch. And it's it's a really great program for our senior adult participants. That's great. And one thing about Camp Aldersgate, people may not realize its location. It's really literally in the heart of Little Rock. Absolutely. 120 acres smack in the heart of Little Rock, <laughs> just west of Baptist Hospital. And it's a perfect place for our year-round programs. We even, a lot of people say, aren't you bored over the fall? And no, we have weekend camps that also uh, have kids coming to us that are ages 6 to 18 who may have Down syndrome or autism, developmental disabilities, and the list goes on. And they also have just an experience away from home, away from mom and dad maybe for that weekend. And it's a fabulous program as well. That's great. And are you uh, always looking for like help or volunteers? Talk about that. Our volunteer program is absolutely critical to us, both in our summer programming and year-round programming. We start our volunteers as a, at age 14 and we are always looking for fabulous volunteers who come to us. And our grounds work, we have uh, opportunities for cleanup crews and uh, senior adults can get involved. We have office help and the list goes on. We always need volunteers, but they do start at age 14 and it's a great experience and a great opportunity for a college application. All right, well, that's great. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. For more information on today's topic, you can visit CampAldersgate.net Today's Comcast Newsmakers guest was Sarah Waycaster. I'm Stephanie Bryant. Thanks so much for joining us.